So we'll have to begin solving this problem by using Malice's law, which is the intensity is equal to the original intensity times the cosine squared of the angle theta. So I've highlighted in red the pieces of information that'll be used to solve this question. Now we'll go ahead and find the first new intensity by taking the initial intensity of 10 units and the angle will be 20. So this will give us an I sub 1 of 8.83. What we're going to do now is we're going to take that and use Malice's law once again. So we'll find an I sub 2 value. Now notice that the angle here is going to be 20 degrees because we're trying to find just the change of the angle from the previous. So as you can see here, we'll have unpolarized light coming in here through this polarizer. This polarizer is 20 degrees, but when it comes through this one, this is 40 degrees from this line right here, but it's actually only 20 degrees relative to this first polarizer. So we're going to use 20 degrees for our theta. This will give us a value of 7.80. Now to find the final intensity, we'll take the I sub two and we'll multiply it again by the cosine of 20 and we'll square that. This will give us the final transmitted intensity of 6.89 units. And just for quick cultural purposes, one faster way is we could have simply took the initial intensity and we could have done cosine of 20 to the sixth power and that would still give us the same answer.